The Ladbrokes boss just told us that he wants punters to lose. Now, obviously, Tom, the bookies want punters to lose. You're correct. You're right. But in this article that I've just read, and I recommend you read it too, he explains exactly how much you need to be losing in order for Ladbrokes and Neds to keep you on their site. Well, the figure is at least 7% profit on turnover that you need to be losing for them to be making a profit off your betting. What does that mean? Now, it's not the amount of money you put into the account. It's the amount of money that you are betting. Profit on turnover means if you bet $10 and you make a 7% profit on turnover, for every $10 that you bet, you're going to profit 70 cents. Now, remember that this is in reverse. You're a punter. You need to be losing at least 70 cents for every $10 that you bet in order for Ladbrokes or Neds to be making money off you. And if they're not making money off you, they ain't going to let you bet. That's the way the industry works. Play it out over a year. You bet $10,000. For Ladbrokes and Neds to allow you to keep betting on their site, you need to have lost at least $700. At least. That is the minimum. Otherwise, they're not making money and they won't let you bet. Now, that should be alarming. If you know someone that punts, or you know someone that gets texts from bookies, you know someone that gets redeposit offers, you know someone that has all these promos and specials on all these different accounts, that means that they're losing considerably more than 7% profit on turnover, which means that that figure might be $1,000 a year. It might be $5,000 a year. Who knows? Usually the story goes something like this. How are you going on the punt? How are you been going? Oh, you know, I'm breaking even. Oh, I made a little bit of profit here or there. Oh, I hit a multi the other week. We now know for a fact that those people that are allowed to punt on these sites consistently, the bookies want them on there, they're losing at least 7%. At least. Now, there will be people out there that are losing 15, that are losing 20, that are losing 40, that are losing 80. And we now know, Old Mate has told us that if you're not losing at least 7%, they ain't going to let you bet. They're not going to let you on their site. So when your friend, your partner, your old man, whoever tells you that they're profiting or they're breaking even, we know for a fact that they're not. So now think about how much are they losing? Maybe how much are you losing? Think of it this way, interest rates. At the moment, they're really, really high and it's hurting. You got a mortgage, you got a credit card, you got a personal loan, you got a car loan. You hear 7% interest rate and you go, oh, fuck, that hurts. That's more and more money out of my pocket. Punters are literally paying a 7% interest rate at an absolute minimum on all of their bets. And if they're not paying that interest rate, they ain't going to let you bet or they're not going to give you promos or they're going to boot you off their site. And if you start to think of it like that, you go, fuck, I'm probably paying 15 to 20% interest rate on my bets. And if I was paying that on my mortgage, on my car loan, on my credit card, I'd have a fucking aneurysm. That's how you should be thinking. Now, if your mate punts or you punt, and you've got promos, or you get texts, or you've never ever even considered this, send it to them. Send them this video. Go and read the article. Get a better understanding of what you're doing in the industry that you're playing in. You're paying a ridiculously high interest rate, and you don't even know it. I hope this video helps.